sorry, Mom. It's smoothie hour here, so... Who'd you say I was back in town? Well, only your best friend. You're back in Pine Ridge? Oh, Ollie, that is so sweet. <laughs> but no, I meant Professor Drake Floyd. No way. Yeah, he called to say he's speaking at the city science symposium. When I told him I was in Japan, he was a bit disappointed, but he'll be happy to see you. How long's it been? Three years? It feels like ages. Hey, anyone know where this science symposium is? I gotta meet a friend. I think Amelia's doing a story on it. She's interviewing a Professor Floyd? Uh, yeah, I think so. Great to talk, Mom. Gotta go. Say hi to the professor from me. This dude is the coolest. I took his course on quantum logic when Mom and I worked in Italy. Sounds like you're pretty tight. Not to brag, but the professor and I are kind of like the two hydrogen atoms in a water molecule. Small <laughs> No. Best buddies. I'm here to see Amelia Jones. Professor Floyd, thanks for coming in. Professor Floyd, I'll be darned. Is that the same Ali Akana I knew three years ago? Well, half a foot taller, but it's the same brain up here. It's nice to see you, young man. I can't believe you're here. Uh, Professor, did you bring that slideshow we talked about for your presentation? Sure did. Let me know if you need anything else. That's a unique bracelet. What kind of metal is that? <laughs> Thanks. I'm not sure, but it's got magnets which balance your energy. Balance your energy? What kind of science is that? Science fiction? Well, I think it suits you. <laughs> Thanks. I'll set up your slideshow and see if I care for it. I look forward to it, Amelia. I'm sorry about her. Amelia's into all kinds of unscientific baloney. You shouldn't dismiss ideas so quickly. You don't know everything. I haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> what are you talking about? This attitude. You think you have all the answers, so you never listen. No one likes to know it all. What? I, I'm not like that. Tell that to the students at the academy. The truth is, your attitude pushed them away. That's why you always ended up doing your experiments with me. What? No. People wouldn't work with me because they were jealous of my smarts. If you say so. I have somewhere to be. I'm sure I'll see you around. Did you hear Professor Floyd just now? He said, I don't listen. Can you believe that? I think you should. I'm great at listening. One time, someone dropped a pin, and I was like, what is that? I literally heard a pin drop. Cool story. I've got work to do. <laughs>